hello welcome to back to my tech hub basic youtube channel uh, today i'm going to show you how to import an uh, adapt lines 48 app 48 app lines on the ev ng workstation merge and uh, i show you some basic uh, lab configuration as well and i uh, i hope you enjoy my first video how to install ev ENG merge on VMware workstation and I go to the, my today lab session I start my uh, lab session to show you my some configurations this is my VMware merge ENG you see 192.168.10.9 the IP my host IP is 192.168.10.4 and my gateway 4.1 and I successfully pin my EVE NG PC ok and now let me connect with issues when I move to WinSCP uh, WinSCP is the FTP software we can transfer the some app all app lines through the WinSCP so WinSCP to my VNG PC ok I show you my WinSCP WinSCP I click the WinSCP and first time you using WinSCP it's asking a new site I create a new site According to the my this IP 192.168.10.9, I put here it's 192.168.10.9 port is different support username you put it root it root password is eu then you can save. But I already create my account that why I did not use here I go to this one and login and a password I use EU this is the how to login uh, win SCP inside the EVAG okay this is my some configuration I show you step by step how to create first you need to create a directory is I create a directory view and new directory I view name for dnet dash firewall 6 point two dot zero dot four dot this is my I show you installing 6.4.4 this is the latest uh, firmware version of uh, 48 and I fix the permissions all and say ok this is my file and I go to my VMware OS and this is my OS first I need to extract my OS put it here extract to see to the OWC3 and then that is in here Okay, then I copy one two three four then okay it's copying just within one minute okay you can follow the this guide as well I follow this guide 
equal to rename right to this name okay i copy here rename it i go to p and i rename okay it's okay now oh, it's inside the my e d you see then I go to EG to one six eight ten dot nine I log in admin password eve and native console and sign in not here go to not forty eight you see fourteen eight five volt six point four four and appear in here can we put here we didn't change any setting in here the before setting delete console also My firewall in here. I take the network My management cloud. This is the way of how to connect outside network to what get firewall. My save click here. Port one. Then we start the firewall starting double click I open it as a open link see the firewall is starting You see now it's firewall. My firewall is starting. I log in using default username admin and no password. I enter hit enter, enter and asking the password. I use simple password. See and again that is my login and I will tell you some best practice because uh, if not we are not uh, execute this command maybe. Uh, sometime occurring uh, some license issue that's why I this cute factory reset and completely reset I click yes then it reset and again reset, restarting it will take one minute for that one minute. Okay, then we default username admin, no password because we are reset, we enter and new password, we 
copy, password and copy, you can log in and let me start how to configure it. Go to my interface, configure system interface. What is the correct port in port one? Edit port one and we set the mode as a static mode. static ok you see this and set IP 9216 I set the this range IP because I need to access five volume my first machine 10 dot 54 and that is 24 and I set allow HTTP, HTTPS, then SSH, and a copy. Okay, and next, in. if when we set the gateway, config router static. port 1 and set gateway 192.168.10.1 is the final gateway and enter then next ok then we try to we can access the now 192.168.10.254 you see so many access admin one two three click login later would show this one and okay you see we can successfully configure the 40 data appliance on even the post PC okay I show you something we can add some what's PC not add some virtual PC here and save and I can't connect when the firewall is online and VPC I should stop it stop it and connect here for two okay. let me start it we start also VPC here ok to access so still starting with it so still starting okay so starting Still starting. Okay, now here. Yeah. Okay. Without. Hello here. 
previously that port to connect it later my go to interface to IP on the port 2 put it clan ttp and pin ip is 1.2.168 and even the ECP take one line to one fifty one dot one two two fifty three this is my DCB code okay okay then I get st static route static route you see my static route is already configured we can put in Google you see he successfully connect to the internet we need hit interface is my port one clan interface when when what to my plan to be keep the nine or two five one policy to get one policy clan to when incoming to base clan going to base clan so see all station all services all put it up for this all session and I name the policy okay now it's policy is also configured and you know my PC key hit CP and enter you see it's getting hit CP yes this is the IP 192.168.1.1 this is the gateway my firewall gateway my firewall interface IP yeah interface IP is the gateway we try to pin it. You see, it successfully pin to the outside and going to the firewall. You can enter in it. You see, it's using this policy. Okay, I should see that. ECP and waiters. ACP monster you see VPC device IP 192.168.1.1 IP is getting my VPC okay I hope you understand basic scenario of the firewall and how to add what get appliance in Gingy and I assure you can uh, uh, nearly 50 days you can assure you can use this image without this is my expired date to 21.27 it mean uh, maybe 15 days we can 
this image and do some uh, basic and maybe some time advanced uh, lab and this is the one uh, disadvantage is uh, it is not connect we cannot uh, apply the web filters because we need to apply web filters in Photigar then we can use EM valuation license and some small um, small restriction is also available this uh, evaluation license but I hope to my next lessons do some uh, basic uh, lab as well and I request to if you have any doubt if you have any questions please uh, ask for me and type any comment uh, because it's really appreciate to uh, comment and I can do another more more videos uh, I hope subscribe my youtube channel subscribe and like my youtube channel and I put uh, some important link how to download within SAP and so to get some information in description area you can find out that those links in my description area okay and I stop today and let's see see again in my next video let me next lessons thank you for all of doing with me